dear students we have started the chapter algebraic expression and in the last video we have discussed some of the basics of algebra so today we will continue this objective that is basics of algebra so today we will start with factors all of you have already done this concept that is factor in the junior classes like fourth fifth as well as in sixth right so here I have taken a simple example that is related to factors that you have already done in the junior classes. So here, all factors of 18 and all of you know that how to find the all factors of 18, obviously with U method, right? So here we will solve this factor with U method. Here on one table 18 comes on 1, on two table it comes on 9 and on three table it comes on 6. So we will not repeat 6. Because on 6 table it, it will come on 3. So it will get repeated. So we will not repeat it. So here we will have a U turn. So here all the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So all these are the factors of 18. Right? So this was a very simple concept. Because here we are taking the numbers. Right? Any number we can take and we can have so many factors for that number, right? But now we are doing algebra. So in algebra, this is not so simple to find the factors. Yes, we can find the factors for algebraic expression as well, but not with the U method. There is another method for finding the factors for algebraic expression. So let's see how can we find. So here you can have factors in algebra. I have taken here term. That is 3x, right? Now, I can have the factors for 3x. That is term 3x. So, now we can factorize this term into 3 multiply x. Or we can say that we can split this term like this 3 multiply x, right? So, here you are having the factors for this term as 3 comma x. The only possible factors for this term are 3 and x. Similarly, we can have another example that is 13xy square. So, we can split this into 13 into xy square. Also, further you can split this like 13 multiply x multiply because y is here 2 times. So, you will multiply y into y. So, here all the possible factors for 13xy square are 13 comma x comma y comma y. Right? So, this is a simple way to find the factors in algebra. Right? So, now we will talk about coefficients. Also, we have studied this term in the previous classes. So, we will just quickly recall it. What are coefficients? Any of the factors of a term is called its coefficient. Any of the factor of a term. So, now we just have done how to find the factors in algebra for a given term. So here is the definition for coefficient. That is, any of the factor of a term is called its coefficient. So we will have example that is 6xy. So we can factorize into 6 into x into y. So here you can have the coefficient of x as well as coefficient of y as well as coefficient of 6. Right? So, here you can see that coefficient of x is what? You will hide x because here we need to find the coefficient for x. So, you will hide x. So, what is left? Only left is 6 and y. So, here you will write 6y. Right? Similarly, if I will ask what is the coefficient of y here? So, you will hide here y. And now what is left? That is 6x. So, you here you will write 6x. Is that clear? So now you can understand the coefficient in a better way like this. Any of the factor of a term is called its coefficient. That means any factor, any factor will be the coefficient of the left out terms, right? So here you can have 6 as a coefficient of x, y. Similarly, x as a coefficient of 6 and y. And similarly, y as a coefficient of 6, x, right? So here is the coefficient for a given term. So, we will have couple of examples for understanding this coefficient 
in a better way. So here, I'm taking your first example as 2x. Now, first of all, we will factorize 2x like this to multiply x, right? So only possible factors would be for 2x, that is 2 and x, that is to multiply x, right? So here, if they are asking for the coefficient of x, what will you do? You will hide x, right? If you will hide x, what will live? That is only 2. So here coefficient of x is 2. Next, if I'm asking for coefficient of 2, so coefficient of 2 is what? We will hide 2. So what is left? That is x. So coefficient of 2 is x. In second example, I'm taking here a term as 6x. So first of all, we will split this term. So we'll factorize 6 because fa factors of 6 are as 2 multiply 3 and x will remain x, right? So here, if I'm asking here coefficient of x, so that means you will hide x, right? So here, coefficient of x are 2 multiply 3, that is 6. Now, if I'm asking here for coefficient of 2, so we will hide here 2. So what is left? 3 and x, that is 3x, right? So coefficient of 3 is what? That means the coefficient for which they are asking, we, we have to hide it. So here you will have 2 into x, that is 2x. In the same way, you can do many more sums like this. In the third example, I have taken here a term as minus 3x square y. So first step is to factorize this term. So we will factorize this as minus 3 multiply x is twice x raised to power 2 that means we will write we will multiply 2 times that is x multiply x multiply y now here if they are asking for coefficient of minus 3 so you will hide here minus 3 so what is the answer yes that is x square x into x that is x square y right coefficient of x if i'm hiding here x so what is left minus 3 x y so here's the answer coefficient of y. So what is the coefficient of y? So we will hide y and answer for coefficient of y is minus 3x squared. In the same way coefficient of x squared y. So here x squared means x multiply x, y means y. So we will hide all these three variables. So what is left? That is only minus 3. Right? Move to the next example. So here is the last example. That is 2 upon 3 x y z now first of all we will split or we will factorize this given term that is 2 upon 3 x y z into 2 upon 3 x multiply y multiply z right now here if they are asking for coefficient of x so we will hide x so whatever will be left you will write here that is 2 upon 3 y z similarly coefficient of y so that means we will hide what y so whatever is left, you will write here that is 2 upon 3 xz. I hope you can do rest of these three that is coefficient of z 2 upon 3 xyz, right? So let's do it together. Coefficient of z that is 2 upon 3 xy because here we will hide z. So you will have 2 upon 3 xy. Similarly, mm -hmm. coefficient of 2 upon 3. So we will hide here 2 upon 3. So what is left? That is xyz. So you will write here x, y, z. Similarly, coefficient of x, y, z. So that means you will hide all these three variables. So we will left with only that is 2 upon 3. Right? Now students, what we have learned by solving all these examples, we have learned that not only the numerical will be the coefficient of the given variable numerical means number not only the numerical will be the coefficient of the given variable but also the variable can be the coefficient of the numericals or we can say that any of the factor of the term is called as coefficient that we have just learned now right so here these were very easy examples so students now i hope you understood this concept and now all of you are able to do the related homework that have been sent to you in this lab homework. Thank you.